in this chaotic, crowded, fast-paced world that we all live in? How can we slow down, become more conscious, and bring everything back to the present moment? Personally, it's become a goal of mine to live fully aware and awake for every moment of my life. But that can be a challenge when you live in a modern metropolis and there's something always going on in front of you. Cars honking, shiny lights flashing, crowds of people passing you by, which is why I was mesmerized when I first saw Walker, a film about a monk doing a walking meditation throughout the streets of Hong Kong. By definition, a walking meditation is simply a meditation walking really slowly. And while doing so, you're aware of your body and all its sensations with every step. What could make you feel more alive than to slow your mind and body down to observe every millisecond as the world flies by around you? And what could be a better location to try this challenge than my home city of Chengdu? China is a country known for many bustling urban centers, but I and many would argue that Chengdu is the most slow-paced and laid-back of them all. So today I'm going to be going for a very long walk around the innermost ring of the city of Chengdu. I've already started walking. Have you noticed? So I've made a new friend, this guy, this guy. He gave me some Buddhist thing, I don't know. He gave me this and he wants me to give him money for it. Usually I'd say no, but I've got nothing else to do, all right? I'm just walking, so uh, I'm gonna give this guy some money. <laughs> Alright folks, we are running at about 4 hours and 15 minutes and it is official. I have finally walked the length of one entire subway station. I'd say we're making pretty good pace. Okay, so I need a little potty break. I came down to the subway. I thought that would be a convenient place to go to the bathroom, but then they just told me the bathroom is like on the other side of the subway station. So I have to walk all the way across from where I just walked from above ground. So wish me luck. A little over an hour in the subway station, but now I'm free. It's been an unbelievable day, but I learned a lot from it. Firstly, this is nothing like an eyes closed meditation. This is a completely different ball game. A meditation with your eyes closed is very much an escape from everything in the real world, including yourself. By contrast, during the walking meditation, my eyes were as wide open and awake as they've ever been. When I make these travel videos, I usually find it difficult to be present. I find my mind focusing so much on the next place, making sure I get all the shots and making sure I catch the train or bus back home in time. But today, with my goal simply being to walk at a turtle's pace, it was so enlightening and freeing to realize that there's nowhere I need to go and nothing I need to do but just be, be fully wherever I was in the moment. This walking meditation is really, really slow. That might seem 
obvious, but I really didn't realize just how slow it was until I finished my 10 hour walking meditation, realizing I had only traveled 1.8 kilometers. That just barely makes a dent in the route that I was planning to complete. To be fair, I did lose an hour in the subway station, and I did take another 45 minute break when my feet and legs were getting really sore. Also, it was a really hot day, and there was a moment in the afternoon when I was feeling really dehydrated. So I did break my slow pace for about 15 minutes or so to rush and find some water. During this process, you just become so entrenched, so focused on the present moment and the little details around you. I noticed that light becomes more vibrant, more bright, more beautiful. It felt like I was in a dream. But it's not just my dream. It can be your dream too. I challenge all social media members out there to take up the walking meditation challenge. Find a buddy, video each other doing a walking meditation in the craziest place you can imagine and feel free to link it or describe your experience in the comments below. Let's walk into a better, more mindful version of ourselves together. See y'all for the next great China adventure.